We begin the Quran Daf Masechtas Kedushin Daf Vav. We begin three lines down at the top of the Yamud, where the Gemara continues the conversation with the previous Daf regarding the wordings that are valid regarding Kedushin. Well, what 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 we said about the Kenyanim, there's Kesef and the Shtar and there's Bia. So that we're getting into the Kishkes now. We said, okay, how, how do you do it? So you give money and you say certain words. So the Gemara is going to discuss what type of words are valid for creating a Kedushin. Now she's corresponds by Kazim the Cheskel turned from Daf Chaim. Everyone joining today's Daf. So in discussing today's Dafa, like we said, the statements that are lush of Kedushin, which imply marriage, the wording has to be indicating that you're giving, because that's the famous Shaila that comes up, where you give Shalach Monis to the Kala, this and that, when you engage, which is not really engaged, halachically, you give it, and you say the wrong words, or like, did you create a Kedushin? That's what Agamar is going to discuss. What's considered a lush of Kedushin? Because you can give someone money, obviously, without getting engaged to her. The Machlik is also regarding Nosan Logita Bekedushab Let's say he gives her something, and again, it doesn't specify. So, was Allah? Was this a kedushin? Was this a gerushin? So they all agree. The kedushin is not effective. If he didn't say anything, just walks over to a girl and he gives her money, that's not necessarily going to be a kedushin. The machlekes is regarding husha sukin by se'inyan. They're still engaged. They were talking about getting engaged, and then he gives her the money, or even in by se'inyan, which is a famous phrase. But like. I didn't get it. And they're talking about something else, and now they're gonna, he's going to give the money. Would that also be an indicator that it was for the condition purposes? <laughs> and then on Ahmed Basic, Gemara discusses uh, one of the more complex uh, concepts of condition is Makadish Bimilva. Someone creates a condition with a loan. So, in the as we'll explain, it doesn't mean when you're giving the loan, it's that they owe you the loan. And then you say, okay, you don't have to pay me back the, the, the 50000 that I lent you. That should be with a Kedushin. That's not going to be a Kedushin. We'll see why. Whereas Hanoi's Milva, regarding the benefit of a Milva, so that's actually going to be Mugadesh. We'll explain exactly what is the benefit of a Milva and why would that be. Yes, Mugadesh. And on some other terms, it comes with Matana, that if you give a gift on the condition of it being given back, it's still considered a gift. And would that be considered as a Kedushin? Say, here, give me the, I'm going to give you this ring, but you got to give it back to me. So I gave you something. So would that be a, considered a Kedushin? So we begin the current daf daf vav. We begin three lines down at the top of the yamad. Turn about in the brisa again. We're continuing regarding what's considered the appropriate terminology to create a condition. Let's say he says, "Hareyat ishti, you're my wife. Hareyat arusasi, you are my kala. Hareyat kanuyali, you are engaged to me. You are acquired to me." So mukadesh is all of these are terminologies that obviously relate to that of kedushin. Now let's say he says, "Hareyat chali, behold, you're mine. Hareyat bershusi, you're in my domain. Hareyat zukukali, you are connected to me." Mukadesh should be engaged. So the Gemara wonders, why is this Brisa splitting this into two? Why don't you say it all as one? Why would you have to say the word Mukadesh two times in the Brisa? So the Gemara says, Tana, the Tana, the Brisa, it's last, last, Shamina, because you know, it was three at a time that he had heard and that he learned it. So he said it separately, but you're right, he could have said it one, one category, which we know if you learn too many at one time, you might forget, like the phone numbers have three, four digits, right? So he had learned three, and then he said it, but really, it's not, it's not real differences that we said the word Mekadesh is two times. Okay, but that, you brother, the, <laughs> no, this is not even talking about, this is, let's say, no, 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 yeah, no, it's, it's, it's with money, or with B, or with it, whichever one it was, but as he was doing the Kesef, he said one of these words, yeah, you have to give money, and you have to say a phrase, the question is, what type of phrase would indicate, so these words are, are, are valid condition words, but now the Gemara is going to discuss a few questions, the following question, what happens if, that he says, Muchedisli, Mahu. What's Allah? He says, you're, you're singled out to me. So as Rashi points out, and Taisa says even more than Rashi on, on some of the cases, that these are all based on Psukim. So we have a Pasik that says, that when man and woman get married, you become one flesh. So Muchedisli is Rashi says is although Much means singled out, but but it's also the word of single that, that they become one flesh. So is that word indicating marriage because it's based on the Pasuk of Labasar Echad? How about Miu Edis Limahu? What happens if he says, you're designated to me? Which, that's also a terminology in the Torah where it says by the other, when he has the Amavriya, and it's Ashaloya Adav, he's not going to marry her, which Allah should have a by the Amavriya. So Miu Edis also would mean a, a, a word of marriage. How about Ezrasi Mahu? What happens if he says, oh, you are my helpmate? Or Negdasi Mahu, you're the one that's going to be opposing me. Which obviously we know is based on the Pasik Esla is a connector. Azer, she could be an Azer, she could be connector. I don't know if wants to get engaged in Negdasi, but Al Kapanim says he's picking one of these terminologies that will be, uh, we know, is a phrase regarding Kedushin. Or let's say Atsurasi Mahu. 
So Rashi says it means a terminology about tzeres of like gathered in with me into the house. <laughs> he brings from his teachers that say it's based on the Pasuk, which Tais likes because all of them are based on Pesukim, um, which is Ki Isha Tzuchalon. The problem is Rashi says that's not correct because that Atzura was Mimenu, meaning that Achimelech said to David, you know, were the youths protected from a woman? And David said, Isha Tzuchalonu, meaning we're talking, meaning she was not, not with us. So it would seem to indicate the other way around. But be that as it may, that's the question of Atzura. And Tzulasi Mahu, my side, which we know that obviously that uh, Hashem took a tzela from uh, from Adam and made it into his wife, Sigurasumahu, which is also there when after he took the the so to speak rib from him, and then it says that he went and he closed it up. Again, these all reference to Chava, so it's, it would be a reference to the Kedushin. or Tachtai Mahu, which the Tzuri Hazakin here on the side says also based on that same pasuk, but even as a tzela, but Tachtana. That he Hashem built that that side of of Adam into Chava, and he closed the flesh in its place. So it's Tachta, it's in it's in my place. Or Tivosasi Mahu, which also the Tzuri Hazakin here on the side says it's it's, a, it's a, either it's a terminology of Leinitvasa, which is that of um, when mm-hmm. a woman was 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 intimate by with another man and she was not violated, she's not forced. So Tivosasi, you're going to be grabbed by me, or it means no, it just means get uh, grabbed with me into the house. Um, Again, these are all terminology either could be translated or or have sources in Sukkim referring to an intimate relationship with with the, with this woman. Or the Kuchasumahu or taken by me what's So the Gemara says, okay, all these questions we're not resolving. It's not clear are they definitive terminologies for Kedushan, but one of them Pashan Mechad you could resolve the last one. If someone says you are taken by me, she's engaged. Why? Because when a man will take a woman, so obviously that would take that would that would be translated as a terminology of kedushin. Now, you had the following question: What's Allah He says you're designated to me, but in the terminology of charufa. So Tashma says, let's bring a ride." The time when the brisa says, If someone says you are my charufa. Mikudesha, she's engaged. Why? She can be Yehuda, Kern Larusa, Kharufa, because in Judea, which is a certain area in Eretz Yisrael, they call a Kala a Kharufa. So the Gemara says, I don't understand. The Yehuda have Yerub the Alma? What, Judea, which is a, one area in Eretz is the majority of the world? Why? Because they call a Kala Kharufa over there, would that mean anyway that you say Kharufasi would be a Kala? So the Gemara says, no, Hachim, this is what the Raisa was saying. I'm a Kharufasi, Mikudesha. If someone says, you're my Kharufa, she's going to be engaged, because it's a Pasig. But he's Shivcha Nechadefes Leish. Uh, when it's talking about a maidservant who's engaged to a man, it says the word nechadefes. V'oid, moreover, Yehuda in Judea, couldn't let Rusa It's like it's just assisting and adding on, saying, and, and Yehuda, they also actually, they call that Rusa but it's really based on the Pasuk. But there's a famous phrase that the Gemara says right now, Yehuda v'oid l'kra, which, which you think the Pasuk needs to be supported from a custom in Judea, which people usually say this phrase when they want to say, that I need, I, I need your help, I need your support. What do I need? I need Judea to assist a Pasig. A Pasig says it's a Lashon of Kedushin. I need to tell me that in Yehuda they call it uh, uh, Kharufa. Elohim, rather, says the no. Okay, the way you have to translate is like this. Yehuda, if someone says in Judea that you're my Kharufa, then Mukadash, then she's me engaged. Only in Yehuda. Because she can't be Yehuda, Colonel Arusa Kharufa, like Rashi explains. In Judea, they call Arusa Kharufa. But says Rashi from a Pasik, you cannot learn out. Why? Because Kharufa just means designated. Because we actually told my Shif Kananis, who doesn't even have Kedushan Tevzimba. So I can't, you can't tell me that Nechadefes will tell me a Lashon of Kedushan. Now, Rashi explains, initially the Gemara thought that it's going like the one who says in Gidden of Mem Gimam and Aleph that the Pasik is talking about a Shif Kachatzim Baschayran. Where there is an element of kedushin, because half of her is a free woman. The Gemara's maskana taste talks that as also is told about by regular shabbat chagadanis. So therefore, you don't see anything for kedushin. In Yehuda, what they call an arusa charufa, okay, there is where you're going to say that she's going to be engaged, unlike everywhere else. Now the Gemara asks, all these words, uh, all these terminologies that we had, a question we wanted to know, is it going to be kedushin or not? So we're saying if the, if you said this word. Miyuchedes, Miyuedes, Azarasi, Azarasi, Tzalasi, Sagarasi. It sounds like Kapar, whatever it is. He said all these different words. The Shailas want to know is that considered Kedushin or not? So he says, B'mayas Kinnan. Tell me exactly the context. What was happening that you had this question that you want to know what the Allah is? 
So the Gemara says, uh, what's the question? If he was not talking with this woman at all regarding the ideas of divorce, marriage, and he just walks over to a woman in the street and he says, uh, and he gives uh, this uh, shekel. Yeah? So, so the question is, from where does she know what he's, what he's telling her? In other words, even if these terminologies would be terminologies of a condition, how could she be engaged? She has no clue what he's telling her that she's acceptable to become engaged. You see some, some, uh, yeah, 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 yalda, boina, boina. And he comes and he says, Atzurasi, and he gives a five shekel coin. She's like, oh, great, I get to buy ice cream, right? And she's engaged now. How could she be engaged? She has no clue what he's even talking about. They weren't, they weren't talking about, they weren't dating, they weren't, so why would that be anything? But hello, rather, what are you going to say? No, 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 we're talking about, let's get the big of the show. That they were talking about, they were dating. They already met ten times, and he he's, he's takes out the, the the ring and he gets on, you know, uh, brings it out, and he says, "Atzurasi." So then, so then the Gemara's question is, what do I need to have if it's if it's who cares if it's not a, a terminology of a kedushin? But Avagav Deloy Amar Law, even if he doesn't even tell her anything, Nami, she would still be engaged just by the fact that he gave her the ring. Because we hold the Gribi as the Gemara is going to quote right now, the whole day it's a Kedushan. It's not like the Mishnah Maisa Shani. It says in the Mishnah, if let's say they were talking about it, they were handling, they were dating and whatever, and they were talking about divorce, about marriage. And then, nothing like Gita Bekadusha. He gives her the Get or the Kedushan. And he doesn't specify anything, he just gives it to her. He says, that's enough. Obviously, she knows what it's for. He says, no, she has to explain. So the question is, what is this teaching in the Bible telling me that, okay, these terminologies, I don't know, are they Lashonis of Kedushin, are they not Lashonis of Kedushin? So who cares? Does it make a difference? If he's been speaking with her about getting engaged, so then it's going to happen without saying anything. And if not, even if it meant Kedushin, then she has no clue what you're saying, some, some abracadabra or whatever, so it wouldn't be Kedushin anyway. So it seems like it's Kedushin. Well, that's the same thing, yeah. Arison well, and Kedushin. So, you mean the Nisun, the Arison and Kedushin are the same thing? They're the first stage of marriage, which is we do by the Chuppah when we give the ring, and then there's then there's Nisun, which is the second part, which is Chuppah. Arison can be entered into without agreement. No, the the, the, the no, you're giving money. You're giving him money. He's giving money. Yeah, he's giving money. And then the, yeah, exactly. We're saying. Even, yeah, we're saying even if, you, even if you don't say anything, she's gonna be engaged because we pass in like because you were discussing it beforehand. So, so what do I need? What do I need? Who cares if the terminology is a condition? So the Gemara says, no, it's actually interesting. Amri, they said, of course, this was a couple that were dating, they were talking about divorce and marriage. But what's interesting is like this paradoxical. If he gives her the, the ring and he's quiet, shh, silence, you're right. Then they would be engaged, like Rabisi, because he says, Mustama, he's giving it for the purpose of Kedushin, because they were just talking about it. And he's like, dude, where do you want to live? And this and that, and he gets quiet, and he gets on his knees, and he pulls out, I don't know if his knees is a Jewish thing, and that, pulls out the ring, and he gives it to her. And she's taking it for that reason. But when he's giving her the ring, he says these words, oh, that's our question. Hani Lishni, these words, the Kedusha, come Allah. Is that for the purpose of Gedushin? Or maybe these are words related to work. So now that you, you, you're, 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 you're explaining these words, if they're Lashon of Gedushin, then she'll be engaged. But if it's a terminology of, hey, I want you to work for me, so obviously he's revealing his attention that he does not want to engage her right now. He'd like to use her services. So take it, that's what the question was. Because you're right, had you not said anything, we, we would assume that, of course, we're just talking about getting engaged. Of course, that's what you're giving the money. But if you're saying no, at Sarasi, maybe he wants her to clean his house instead. Maybe he decided, you know what, forget it. I, you know, I'll update this other girl. Right? And you, do you want to you know, help me out on this other project that I'm working on? Right? So that's why it actually gets worse now that you said the words. Because maybe it doesn't mean lots of conditions. So they're obviously giving the money as an as a, as a, as a upfront for some other project that you guys wanted to work on. So that's, that's the question. So even though you were passing like a BC, it would still have this question. Now, the Gemara goes back to Gufa. We had mentioned the Mishnah that said, We had this Machlik Yerbeis Mihuda. 
if let's say he was he was discussing with her regarding divorce and regarding engagement. And they gave her her get and and or or kedusha, whichever one of these that we talk. about. she didn't specify. So this machlekes. He says it's enough. She'll be engaged or divorced. Yudaim says no tzach lefarish because both of them need das. Yudaim says no, you you have to specify. Now Amir Yudaim Shmuel he explains he qualifies he says but who this Rebisi says <coughs> is dayoi is shasukin bo eisay inyan. It's that they were engaged in the discussion of this idea about getting engaged until the actual giving. So they have to be currently talking about it, and then even when he gave it. He didn't say anything, then it's going to be a condition. It says that Bahu Shasukin Baisin has to be that you were middle discussing that topic. But the Gemara says actually it's Katano, it's actually Machalik exactly how to qualify this halacha. Rebbe Yami says, like we just said, Bu Shasukin Baisin, he passes like these to Amiram, meaning that Amiram passes like him, that you had to be in the middle of engaging that topic. But Rebbe Shimon says, no, a bigger chid. He says, even though they're not even discussing it right now. Still, it's going to be a condition. So the Gemara says, "I don't understand." If they're not even talking about this topic anymore, but where does she know what he's telling her? In other words, since when he's giving her this dollar bill, whatever he's giving her, I think kesef or kesef, they weren't talking about kedushin. Where does she know that for the purpose of kedushin, he's giving it to her that she should be in agreement? So although they spoke a day about uh, go about getting engaged, but they're not talking about it right now. So of course they spoke about yesterday about getting engaged. And then today he gives uh, his, you know, his uh, uh, gift card to the ice cream store, right? Which is Shavu Kasev, Shtar, whatever, whichever one this can be. But how does she know what it's for? Mm-hmm. So my body says, no, no. This opinion of Elizabeth Shimon is what's called Me'inyin Le'inyin Ba'isa Inyin. It's from topic to topic in that same topic. So they stopped literally speaking about Kedushin. They were talking about other things. However, these were things related to the Shidduch. Like, how much is going to be the Nadunya? How many fields is your father going to have Panasa? Where are we going to live? And where are you going to have a job? All these are things related to the Shidduch, but it's not exactly too much Kedushin per se. That's the bigger Kedush of Elizabeth Shimon. No, we're not talking about the Indian of Kedushin. the Indian. That is the Indian in the Indian. That's also going to be valid according to Elizabeth Shimon. That when he just gives us the stomach without saying anything, it's understood that's for the purposes of Kedushin. Like we said, that even if he didn't say anything, it's going to be a valid condition. Now, relating back to this halacha, he says, wait a second. Whoever does not know very well proficient in the halachas of Gitten Kedushin, he should have no involvement to be a dying in this thing because he might permit an Isra of Erva. And that's a mistake that cannot be fixed. That's a that's a that's a that's a big that's a big one. That's the way Rashi explains. Otayis brings that uh, faked. He brings from Brazil. Interestingly, that this guy should not be speaking with women. He should not be giving a shear for the ladies for the rabbinites on the ideas of kedushin, um, because sometimes if he doesn't really know what he's saying, he might actually be engaging them, and they won't understand. So in other words, whoever doesn't know well the halachas of getting kedushin. Should not be involved in this. So the question is, Is that even if he doesn't know this halacha of Rahuna Mashmul, that said halacha is a Gabyesi? In other words, to, to say that he also should not be involved in getting Kedushin? In other words, basically the question Rashi explains is, is it common or not common that a person should give a get or Kedushin to a woman and not explain what he's giving it for? That if you're busy with this sugya, you have to know that too, because if you don't know that, you might be making that mistake. Someone comes to, to the dying and says, yeah, it was with this girl that was dating, and then one time on a date, I happened to have given that we spoke about getting engaged, and then I gave her, you know, $10. I didn't say, but I want to know, is that really, no, those type of shyness. Right? Are we engaged? I don't know. Halachically, whatever. This and that. So, so, so the, the dying says, you didn't talk about anything. You But my sweet pastor, you're basically. That if they were speaking about Baisa Inyan, or maybe even Mila means Baisa Inyan, that means that, that they would be engaged. So is that included also that if you don't know this halacha, that you shouldn't be a die and you shouldn't be involved in getting Kedushin? I'm late in, Hachanami, yes. That's a, exactly this. Also, you have to know this halacha. If you don't, then you shouldn't be involved in getting and Kedushin. 
Now the Gemara continues like Rasha is like a Omar Mar, because it's really going back on the teaching of Shmuel that we said before. Now the Chemigation. Same thing applies to divorce. That Nasla Gita Ba Amalov, let's say he gives her the get and he says to Harit Mushalachas, you are sent away. Harit Mugadeshas, you are divorced. Harit Mataras Khalad and you're permitted to every single person. Harit Mugadesh, so she's going to be divorced. So the Gemara says, we're continuing regarding the terminology is now regarding Gitin, because Shmuel had mentioned both for Kedushin and Gitin, so now we get a little bit into the terminologies of Gerishin. So the Gemara says, what's obvious is the following case. If Nasla Gita, if he gives her a get, and he says to his wife, Harit Baschairin, you are a free woman. So he continues to him Bez. Loy Amma Balem Klum, he hasn't said anything to divorce her if he writes that terminology in the get, because that's not terminology of Gerishin. A, 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 a woman was always a free woman. She's not becoming free now um, when she's getting divorced. So he's saying this to her or he's writing it? It's either one. If, if it's, it's, let's say it's a star, he's writing it inside. But either one is if that's indicating what he's giving this paper for. Because generally, Rashi said you would be yeah, writing it. Right, right, you're right. So that's yeah, in the Khanami, that's right. So that's that's what Rashi says. So you're writing it in the get. But if but that's because that's what you're giving. Now, let's say he says to his maidservant, you are permitted to every single person. He hasn't said anything because that's a terminology of Gavishin and not a terminology of Shikha of Shibcha, because if he's making her a free woman, that doesn't permit her to every single person. She's actually not permitted to have other anymore. So don't tell me it's like you're permitted to every single person. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a terminology of shikhar because now she can marry whoever she wants to. It's not true. You can't marry whoever you want to. You're a lot of married Jews now, but not, not about them. But it is terminology of get for a woman because it actually permits it to anyone that she was forbidden up until now through him, Rashi explained. So Harim Matarazakalim is appropriate for divorce. But it's not appropriate for emancipation from, from slavery. So those are wrong terminologies. Harim Matarazakalim is appropriate for a woman. And the you're a free woman is appropriate for shikha, but if you mix those up, those are not appropriate. But if let's say Amalal Ishta, he tells his wife, Haret la you're free yourself. Now what's the alacha? What's the question? So the Gemara explains. Me I mean, do we say Limalacha, meaning for your work, for your job, that your earnings are gonna go to yourself, Kamala. That's what he's telling. You're you you're you're on your own, basically. That's what I mean. You're on your own. What does he mean you're on your own? You, you, you could take your own earnings and support yourself. So obviously it would not be a terminology of divorce. I didn't, maybe no, no, the government come along. Maybe saying in, in totality, even to get married, you're on your own. Go ahead. See ya. Nice knowing you. Right? So what does it mean? That you're, that you're for yourself. So I'm going to read the says, Tashma, let's bring a rag. It's time to learn the b'risa. The b'risa says, Gufesh got shikhar. What's the essence of the document of emancipation from a slavery when you want to free them? You're a free person. You're a free person. You're for yourself. Says the Gemara Hashda, if we find over here the Ma Evid Kanani, if by a non Jewish slave, the Kani Le Gufe, the owner, the Baal, owns the actual body of the slave. So Kiyam Allah, when he tells Sahar or him, Hari Atlas Macha, you're for yourself, Lagarmi Kamala, he's saying, totally, you can go and now do whatever you want, you're, I have nothing to do with you anymore. So Isha, like Kani Le Gufa, so the woman where he does not own her body, like Koshkin, isn't all the more so that it should be totally. Three, which tries to point out, even though regarding Harit Baschairin, we said that that does not help from a Kabbal Chaimer, that's because, again, it does not appropriate the Lashon Chayris by a woman. So, but here, where it's like you're for yourself, where and it could be interpreted as totally, and if it's totally by the Evid, for sure it can be totally by the woman. Let's say someone says to his non Jewish slave, I have no business with you. My, what's Allah? So, what's the question? So, Mark explains. Mirman, do we say in the Isig Bach, Legamri Kamali, I have nothing to do with you? Meaning, totally. Even that your, your body is emancipated, you're allowed to marry a, a, a regular Jewish woman. Maybe it was just saying for, for, for work that, that I have no business with you, but, but that wouldn't be considered as an emancipation like a total Shekhar. So I'm going to say, Rabash, I'm going to say, 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 to a non Jew. The Lacha is Yotz Lacheris. He goes free. Like Rashi points out, although the Gemara Gittin of Medal Malv tells us that we penalize the guy who sold his slave to a non Jew because he can't do mitzvahs in him or whatever, he has to redeem him from the non Jew up until 10 times his value because he's removed from a mitzvah. But after he like redeems him from 10 times the value, he still has to let him go free. And the Tzach gets Shechem Rabarishim. He needs a document of emancipation from his first master to permit him to marry a Jewish woman because although the non Jew bought him and he's, and, he, and he's buying him out of him, 
his body wasn't acquired by the non-Jew because it says mehem tikni, which you could buy from them, but they can't buy from you and they can't buy from each other. They don't own each other. So therefore, essentially, this Evet is still in the possession and the domain of the first master. So this first master has to still give him, after he frees him and after he, he has to let him go free, has to write him a get shekher. Which Rabbi Shem Lili says, wait, the midrim, when we say that he needs a get shekher, is like Kosovo Oinai, is that when he sold this slave to the non-Jew, he didn't write a type of a document. But if he wrote on him a document when he sold him, that itself is his emancipation. But Shigmar says, what's, what's the case of Oinoi? What's the star that would sell, when you're selling him to the non Jew ultimately would be a get shekher? Mavshesha says, the custom he wrote to him, when you run away from the non Jew and you get away, you escape, I have no business with you. Oh, so obviously you see that as the terminology of a shekher, because we're saying if you wrote an Oinoi, it's going to work as a shekher, and obviously that's the terminology of totally freeing him. Now the Gemara brings in, continuing really with this uh, first kinyan of Kesev, uh, first kinyan of Kedush that we spoke about, which is kinyan of Kesev, but now the Gemara gets a little bit more complex with one of the more yeshivish Mesechs, this Amabaya. Amakadish b'milva. If someone creates a Kedushin with a loan, what, what does that mean? He says, this that I had lent you money, you owe me $500, tells this girl, says, you know what? That's, I want you to be engaged with that five hundred dollars that you owe me. The halacha says Abaye ain't in Mukadasha, she's not engaged. Why not? Because the halacha of Kinyam Kesef is learned out from Kicha Kicha from Stay Effort, which is that you give something at the time of the Kedushan. You're giving money, Abram gave money to Ephraim and they got the field. You give money to the girls, it becomes your your kala. The problem is, as we know, Milva is light saw nitnam alone is when you give it to the other person. It's gone. It's not there anymore. It's already hers. Even if she pays you back a week later, it's other monies that she owes you, not the same monies. So therefore, when you want to say you're Harriet Mokadeshesli, that word has nothing to take effect on. What do you mean? It's the $500 that I have by her. No, you don't have anything by her. That's gone. That's long gone. That's, even if the money's actually there, it's long gone. It's meant to be used. And you don't have any money. She owes you money. But that's nothing that you're actually giving her at the time of the condition. But, let's say, he says, and the Gemara is going to explain what exactly this means, in the benefit of the loan, oh, then Mukadashas, then she'll be engaged, but, but it's initially forbidden to do this, because of the deceit of interest, which is uh, Isser in the Torah to do ribbis. So the says, wait a second, hi Hanos Mobahikadim, what exactly is this case of Hanos Ribis? So the Gemara says the following approach. If it's originally that he made the Amala, he told her, I mean, he, he threw it up as a Zakifa, but it's like it was a, a, a proposition originally. The Amala that he had told her, You know what? I'm lending you $4. But uh, you gotta give me back five, and now he tells her, you know what? I only loaned you, lent you four. I was charging you interest, some uh, hard hard loans there. But that fifth zuz, that extra one, you don't have to pay back. That will be my condition to you. Says Gemara Haribis Why are you calling Haramis Ribis a deceit of Ribis? That's straight up Ribis. That's charging interest, which is forbidden. Vay more behind the milva then. That fifth zuz is already owed from the time of the loan, and, and therefore, why is it different than any loan? So, how could that be the case of Hanos Milva that would be good ashes? I don't know if it's a haba. A mitzvah of is that the only way you get the mitzvah is through the abeira. Here you happen to be. What? Yeah, I mean, it's. You have to know if that's through the through the ribbon. He happens to have been using that coin. That's the problem, no, no, no. The problem is that uh, the problem is first of all why are you calling it. No, the problem is why are you calling it. No, the, no, no. The Gemara is not saying it won't work. The Gemara is saying initially don't do this because it's going to be haramah service. The Gemara says, well, first of all, that's not haramah. This is actual ribbon itself. And moreover, then why is it working? Because it's a milva. It's not. It's not. It's the same thing as makadish but milva shouldn't work. So the Gemara says, no, you're right. The case of anos milva is something else. It's referring to arvach lazimna. That is extending the time of the loan. And he says, I want you to be engaged me with that benefit 
that you would have to give some hush money to somebody to appease me, or you would have to give me money. If he tells her those words, she's going to be engaged because he's actually giving her something right now. If she wanted, let's say that loan was due on uh, August 28th. So if she wants to extend the loan another month, well, you would have to you would have to bribe somebody. You would have to give some type of a of a, of a, of a, a, a bonus or something to, that you could extend it. That's monetary value. He's saying that I'm giving you right now. If I'm going to extend this another month, let's say, you would have to give me money right now. I'm saving you that, that money. I'm giving you now. So therefore, that's why she's going to be mukdashes with. That case of Arba Zimna, what we're calling Hanoas Milva. No, no, no. Re- no, regular Milva is that you, I lent you the money, you owe me the money, I'm canceling the loan. That, I'm not giving you anything now. That, that, it's not mine. It's, it's, it, you, you're not going to owe me, but, but I'm not giving you anything. Here, I'm giving you an actual monetary value. It's worth $50 to expedite. There's $50 of extensions. This is worth money. I'm giving you. Yeah, whatever it is, whatever it is, but I'm giving to you right now. Now, that's what it, it, it is the case of Mukadesh. The thing is, like Rashi explains, it's Haramas Ribis. Now, it's not full fledged Ribis, which Trace discusses this opinion of Rashi, but he didn't set a price on anything. He didn't make a set interest um, with the extension of the time on the, on the loan. He didn't take anything from her. Um, so, therefore, that's not a clear-cut ribis. It's a haramis ribis. Now, Rashi actually says, parenthetically, that for sure if he would be Michael the whole loan, and he would tell her, be engaged to me with the benefit of this mechila, that now he's giving her that pruta of hana of mechilas milva. So, so, maybe that's maybe what you wanted to ask, but that also, if you, if you could pay someone you know, you call up someone that could deal with collections or whatever this and that. And do me a favor that I owe them ten thousand dollars. No problem. Give me three hundred dollars. I'll, I'll wipe. I'll, I'll knock it in half. Right? There, there, there is a monetary value to that too. Yeah, yeah. That's what Rashi says. When you're makadish with the primary monies that you originally gave, you're saying that five hundred dollars I gave you, I lent you two months ago. I want you to be engaged to me with that. That you're not giving her anything because that's already hers. But if you're saying that I'm going to... You know, you don't have to pay me back. You gave someone Kaddish. That's the same deal. That's, that, well, that depends. If, if it's actual... Rashi is differentiating between that. He's saying that... Um, the, well, yeah, Shailas, when he's saying that with the Mekadosh Bimova, even, even if it meant... But what is he... He gets $500. He don't owe me. Kaddish. It's not his money. Right. It's not, it's not his... It also depends on the it depends on the wording that you're using. If you're saying that I gave you five hundred dollars a month ago, so that money should be used for kedushin. So that's first of all, it's not even clear. Even is that even talking about a mechila even. It could be also that benefit that he gave the loan then. Okay. Right? But here, we, if Rashi says, if he's going to be Michael the whole thing, well, there's a certain Hanan on that too. And, and therefore, yeah, that, that would also work. I as No, this is a Kesev. This is a Kenya of Kesev. No, it's a Kenya of Hanan. It's not a no, Shavu, but it has no a, money. Right, right, right. That's why Milva doesn't work because there's no money right now. But all these things have a monetary value. Shava Kesev doesn't have to be actual item itself. You're giving a monetary value right now in a service or whatever it is. So when you're canceling, uh, you're extending in the time or you're canceling the loan, that's a, that's a monetary benefit. It's but, not Shava Kesev if he's not in the end. If he's extending a loan for you would have year. To, you would have to pay another $50 to extend the loan. So I'm giving you that $50 right now. That's what it is. That's what that's what the Hanoz Milva is. Arvach Lazimna, uh, in contrast to the case of Mekadosh Milva, you're not giving anything right now. You're saying what I gave you then. If you gave an item, let's say you lent her a, 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 an item, and it's still there, it's still yours. That maybe that would work. But when you give a Milva, Rashi says it's not here anymore. You're not giving her anything right now. 
Therefore, that's why it won't be considered engaged. Yeah. The problem is that the Kesef has to be admitted to Kayak. If you say you assume the Kesef has to be, yeah, Kesef is not right. So the Kesef means the Kayak. Right, it has to be a set. To be right. right. So, right, so the question is what does this mean over here? Like cuts. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right, that we're going to see there exactly also. That depends. Right. Right, that's going to be part of the conversation over there about, um, right. also, it's questionable what Rashi actually means when he says, like, cuts midi. Yeah, yeah, we have to, yeah, look into that exactly. What, what, is, what does it mean, like, cuts midi? Like, cuts midi is like, he's not setting him out, right? Yeah, good question. Yeah. So, Kaponim, that's what Hanas Milva is. Hanas Milva is a, a certain value that you're giving right now. So um, Rabbi, wait, it gets more complex. Let's see, because we're going to go in the next half also very complex concepts relating to what's considered uh, a, ken, a condition of Kesef. Rabbi says like this, hey, lichmana, let's say, um, he, he says here, take this money, this 100 dinar, on, on condition that you give it back to me. So, b'mecher leikana. For regarding a sale, a person would not acquire, for example, let's say a piece of property. The Gemara tells later on the Chavav Medalev, that it's acquired with money. If you give someone, the, you sell, you give to the seller a uh, hundred dollars on the condition that he gives it back to you, it's not going to be acquired like that because you didn't give him anything. Beisha and Mukadeshas. Regarding a woman, you give her a ring. You say, "Hey, I give you the ring. I'm an ass that you give it back to me. She's not engaged." But Ben Yaben, if you give it to the coin five slum on the condition you give it back to me, and Ben Yaben, the son's not redeemed. But Shulum, it to the coin the Shuma, even though you said it's a matan manas lahachzer. And then what do you do with the truma? You sell it to the Ghanim and you can keep the money. Which is going to ask uh, temporarily, uh, momentarily, that what do you mean, why is it, why is it different? But, again, but anyways, you can't do that with the Kayin because it appears because for this um, profit, you're going to give the Kayin your other trumas. So this Kayin is like essentially buying his truma with the, with the profit that, you're give, that he's giving you. That's, that's, that appears to be a basic run. This looks like a coin that assists in the granary. I mean, this guy is packing boxes. He's there in the Amazon Truma warehouse. He's cutting open the boxes and doing all these, you know, folding so that they should give him the, the Truma. He figures, hey, why not? If I'm hanging around, you know, I'm helping out, they're going to give him the Truma. The Mishnah Bukhari's stuff, Chavav Base teaches that the kind that assists in the, in the granary, we don't give them the Truma for their reward. Because if they do that, it's a desecration. On them, the Pasuk says, Malachi, Shechatim Resalevi, you, you, you're destroying the common end of the lady. Because, like in this week's parasha, they're supposed to be provided by and not like going out and helping out and running along and, and waiting for the, for the thing. So, therefore, in, but now, so the Gemara says, Mike Sabra, what does Rabbi hold? Manam Shach. He holds that a gift that you're going to give on the condition that you're going to get back is considered as a gift. Then all of them should be considered a sale and it should be considered Kedushin. So why is it only by Truma? That's not considered as gifting anything because he's going right back to you. I feel Truma not Then the Truma should also not work. Why there does it work? is the one who says, He holds, we know, that a gift on the Kedushin get back is considered Matana. Because Amar Rabbi says, Someone says, hey, take this Esrig. But I'm not sure that on the condition that you give it back to me. So not lay if he shuckles it, because he gives it back. Yes, it fills his obligation. Now, if him love, if he doesn't give it back, obviously Layots is not fulfilled his obligation because that retroactively is going to be gazel because it was not his. But one thing we see, he holds it is Mamatana. So why doesn't it work by the other cases of Kedushin and of Mechira of Karaka? So Elam Ravash, rather Ravash, he says most definitely, Bakulu, by all these cases, Rabbi would say that Kani, you're right. You would be kind of because it's a matan malachz, which is shmamatan. Labar me isha. The exception is the woman. Why? Because a woman cannot be acquired with chalipin, which uh, Rashi says. He says discussion on this, but he 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 says it's like chalipin, which is like a king of sudr. Because what do you do when you do with the with the rub and you sell the chametz? He takes the pen, takes the hat, and and he takes it right back. So here also it's like it looks like chalipin. You're giving the woman the ring, you're taking it right back. So, a woman is not acquired with Khalipin. So, therefore, that's why it's not going to work. Even though, that's why it's not going to work by a woman. So, this is how we say the name of Rabbah, like you, that exactly like the old them um, do work, besides for that of Isha, because it's like that of Khalipin. Thank you to any time. Well,